What's up YouTube? In this video today we're going to take a look at how to install Python 2 on Windows 10. I'll show you how to enable pip in the process and I'll also, well, we'll go through the manual steps to add the path variable to the Windows path. So you guys are familiar with how to do that because later on if you need to move Python installation to a different um, location you know how to change your path to accommodate that change. So let's get started first. I'm just going to show you that I don't have Python installed and I don't have pip installed. So now let's go ahead and install those. We're going to go to python.org. Let me actually go full screen here because this is a VM so you don't get confused on the bar there. All right, so in downloads here we have python 2.7 that's the one that we want to install because this is a vm it's actually taken a while for it to process this um, download and just wait for it to finish once this is finished you can click on it it's going to open up the installer Come on. Any time now. Alright, there we go. I'm just going to install this for all users. Click next. I'm going to keep the default location. I like when the Python is installed under C drive. So I'm just going to accept this. Now, in this options down here, if you actually add, like if you select this option, it will add the path to your environment variables automatically. And I believe it will add the pip or the script uh, directory into the path as well. So your pip will work as well. But I'm gonna leave this off and we're gonna go through this process manually. If, but if you wish, you can select this. Then you won't have to do the, the manual steps. So click next accept everything and wait for this to install while this is installing we can actually go ahead and make changes to the path because the Python is already on the C drive so if I go into my C drive I already have the Python 27 directory here so I can just copy this path right click on this PC go to properties go to advanced system settings go to environment variables I'm just gonna select something in this list and I'm gonna click new this will allow me to create a new variable. I'm going to call this variable python2 underscore home and then I'm going to paste the value in the variable value. I'm going to click OK to save this. Now we need to make sure we add this to the path. So we're going to go, we're going to select the path and we're going to click on the uh, edit button. And we're going to click new here. Now we need to make sure we include the variable that we just created first. So we're going to say percent percent in between those percent signs, we're going to type Python to underscore home. And then we're going to add one more variable. So we're going to click new again, and we're going to type the same thing. We're going to type Python to underscore home. Then we're going to have a slash script. Basically, this entry here will allow us to use pip. Uh, anything in the scripts directory will be usable from uh, command line or from uh, different ideas that you're going to use, like um, uh, PyCharm or PyDev or whatever. It's going to be able to find this stuff. Um, so click OK to save everything. Now, Python should have been installed by this time and it was so let's we can close everything here let's open up cmd and check that python is actually working so if i type python now it opens up python interpreter for python 2.7 we can exit that and we can check pip and pip is also working so that's it guys for this video that's how you install python 2 in windows 10 and enable pip at the same time if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching.